Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening, everybody. How is everybody doing? Welcome to Monday Fun Day. While the cat is away, the mice will play. All right, y'all, check it out. So last week, when last week, Wednesday, I did this. This is the simple version of the hummingbird kit. Okay, for all of those that um just want to do the basics, simple design. So this is so this week we're gonna do the over the top version. Because, you know, y'all like to see my over-the-top stuff, right? That's what we're going to do this evening. So come on in, have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. She's back! I'd like to say better than ever, but that's not true yet. We're getting there. We're getting there. Day by day. Alright. Do doot. Do doot. Do doot. Do doot. Do doot. Alright. This will be the hummingbird we'll be using tonight out of the kit whichever one that you want to. We're going to be using the other rectangle board. Here is the pipe cleaner placement. Hey, Miss Mary, how are you doing? How is everybody doing this evening? So like I said, this tutorial is for those that get the kits or whatnot, or you know, want to do one simple, one plain. Really want to zhuzh the other one up with any leftover supplies. Did you have fun? Are you pacing the floor, Miss Tina Kelly? It thundered here earlier, y'all. And uh, I'm here to tell you, like, oh my. Did it thunder here? I have never been on a cruise. They are 20 inches. I'm sorry, I meant to say that on the recap. How long my mesh was was 20 inches. My bad.
One day I'll go on a cruise. One day. Where'd you go, Mary? Ugh. In case y'all don't know, I probably should tell you, we're having bad weather right now. Kind of told you, but some people know that are in my area, but some of y'all aren't in my area. Yeah, yeah, no traveling for me right now. Just not up to it. I took my daughter back to college campus, which is about 40 minutes away. And I got back from that, and I was in a lot of pain. So I'm like, mm, no, we're not ready to travel just yet. Of course, now I'm on to physical therapy. Whoop, whoop. Gotta do that twice a week. Kind of looking forward to it because this back surgery, I'm pretty weak after. So, physical therapy is going to be a good idea this time. Where's everybody from again? Shout out where you're from. You're up north. You're expected to get snow and all that mess, Diane. I mean, that's what is expected up north. Part of Tennessee, are you from, Miss Joyce? Y'all, I hate having gaps in my, so I go back and fix my mesh. I don't like gaps. I don't like, I like pretty. Pretty reed face. And nice. See? Come here, mesh. All right. If you want to know why I stress over what my mesh base looks like, I'll tell you. Just remember this. You have to have a firm foundation to build a temple. Okay? All right, we're gonna cut our ribbon, still 12 inches this week. Eight pieces of that ribbon.
Yes, Miss Joyce, I have. I know you want to see me do one. I actually have cross bases, but this this Wednesday I'm going to be doing the duck kit with y'all. Oh, it is adorable. Don't forget, it will be released tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Yeah, Lori showed it Sunday. Is that correct? Sunday? Before she off. I got four little duckies to go with mine. What I got. Um, when I'm done with this, I will show you I can show you all the kit again if you want to for those that haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, say let me know and I can show y'all again. Real quick, since Lori won't be available to do the kit release like she normally does on Tuesdays. She said she showed you Sunday, but I can show y'all again. Um, it, well, yes, I did, and it was kind of like, it was actually, um, me and Michelle kind of together. Yep, I can definitely show y'all the kid again since Lori... It will be released tomorrow. Be available for purchase. The hummingbird kits are sold out. So keep that in mind. These kits will sell out quick.
like I said, when I'm done with the wreath, I will grab the kit and show y'all, okay? Before we ski daddle out. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really think y'all are going to like the duck kit, especially when I'm going to kind of explain to y'all a little bit when I show y'all the kit. Lori showed y'all Sunday, but some of y'all, and she won't be here to release it like she normally does tomorrow. That's why she showed you Sunday. So I will show y'all again really quick this evening. And it won't be released till tomorrow at 1 o'clock, so be ready. Yep, 1 p.m. Eastern. Yep, there's lots of colors available in this mesh. All right, so from the other hummingbird, we had plenty of ficus left over. And the branches are thin enough, y'all. You can just cut them with your scissors. And what I'm going to do is just cut off three, a stem of three. We're still going to have some left over the way that I'm doing it because we're just going to do four of each color. And this we're just going to tie in with our pipe cleaner. It's so lightweight. Hello, my friends. Come in, have a seat. We're doing the over the top on the hummingbird. Or should we say the Jackie version? Last week we did the simple and basics, and now we're going to do the 
over the top for those of you that have leftover supplies, want to add florals to it. So that's what we're going to do. Even with adding the florals and stuff, I try to keep it pretty inexpensive. All right. <sighs> We're gonna make our bow first. Then we'll get started adding some more florals and whatnot to really Zhuzh this up. Zhuzh, 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 I don't speak French. I probably shouldn't try. But as you can see from both of them, we still have plenty of ribbon left over from doing both of the hummingbird kits. Plenty. Plenty, my friend. But I'm going to add some ribbon. Lori has a lot of this um, laced edge ribbon available. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One second. One second, y'all. I guess you can call it the second part. I call this the advanced one. It wasn't really a two-parter. I finished the one hummingbird, which is, you know, what you want to do. So I'm calling this one the advanced one. Makes sense. This mesh is the same mesh that was in the kit, Miss Joyce. So I don't know what you mean. Maybe I'm not reading your question correctly. Maybe I need to go get my glasses. Another possibility. Let me know if I need to go get if I need to put my glasses on. All right, I'm going to do two loops of the lavender
One of us needs our glasses, apparently, Miss Joyce. I, I love the lace dead ribbon too. I do, I do. It's a lavender color. on out. Maybe I need to adjust my color on my camera again. All right. So what we're gonna do, uh, uh, get this time I wanna set the hummingbird pretty high so that I can set my bow. My bow. No. No, I still haven't ordered my scissors. I probably should just stop and do that right now real quick since, you know, it's over with so that I won't forget. Oh my gosh. Somebody needs to send me a reminder apparently. Because believe me, when I went to go cut my Ribbon, I remembered.
Miss Deborah, I'm here to tell you I haven't been to the grocery store to go grocery shopping in a very long time. I am the order online and pick it up person. And I have been for a couple years now. Thanks to the pandemic. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second, y'all. Let me stretch back for a second. Hold on. Mm. Alright, so let's get our hummingbird on before we start adding more stuff. And as y'all know, once we go adding stuff, it goes by pretty fast after that. But, I forgot. <laughs> I'm becoming more and more forgetful these days, okay? But give me the benefit of the doubt, because, like, you know, technically, you know, before I hadn't made wreaths for, like, six weeks, so if I ordered stuff, too, I even forgot that I ordered stuff. So I'm kind of guilty of that, too. You know, it got put away, forgot that I ordered it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, use it or lose it. Well, I hadn't been using it, so I'm losing it. I forgot that I ordered da -da -da cable tie mounts, because, you know, since we found a solution, since I found a solution to using cable tie mounts, I can use them now. No, I think I'm just losing my mind, you know. Okay. So, we're going to use cable tie mounts instead of hooking the holes this time so that our other friend will just decide how we want So we got some 3M mounting tape, which mounts to metal and it stays. But what you want to do, take the if you get the ones that have the sticky on them, take that off. The thing off. Take your over it. Cut it free. It all it is is a yarn needle. Get it at Walmart. And that's actually I'll show you in a second. I think I can take it. I don't know. This will probably last a long time, y'all. I would imagine. So this is actually a yarn needle. Let me see if I can pull it apart. I had that pretty well wedged in there. But this is a yarn needle. That's all it really is. 
And this is the case for it to keep you from stabbing yourself. Basically. Well, I'll show you in the two pieces. And I got this at Walmart. Anybody else started using cable tie mounts now that there's a solution to them not coming off and having to wait for the glue to dry? I don't know about you, y'all, but I'm out on waiting for glue to dry. Yeah, Diane, I showed I showed how to do that. Cause you can use it to put it on rail board. Don't have to wait for the glue to dry anymore. Um, Veronica, did you get the right kind? It's very specific automotive. And it has to be the automotive because the automotive is the one that's strong enough and designed to adhere to metal and plastic. You can't get just any 3M tape. It has to be the automotive one. Yeah, you got to press it down after... No, Lynn, I don't. From the very first time I tried it, I didn't remove that foam. It, and it worked. So. I don't know about y'all, but that was one of the biggest reasons I didn't use the cable tie mounts. Flat out. I'm not going to sit there and wait for glue to dry. That was my biggest thing with it. I, some, I most of the time decide on spur of the moment to use a sign or something. I want to know that, you know, I'm not having to wait for something to dry before I put a wreath up. When I'm done with it, I take my pictures and I put it up and that's it.
Done. Want to be done. All right, let's get some greenery in here. So, I don't know if you can get this, but you can get something similar at Walmart, and I'll show you real quick. It's a lavender bush. Make sure I'm not going to run over my dog. Buster likes to sit behind me while I'm working. You can get a lavender bush like this at Walmart, but I decided to go and add the purple because I have lots of purples and pinks for some reason I don't know why so but you can get this at Walmart use That's the other nice thing about these rectangle boards and using them. Doesn't require that much greenery. Really zhuzh them up. Either. So it's actually a good thing to use leftover greenery on as well. All right, so what we're going to do, I leave a little bit of a stem to really poke into the mesh. We're going to hot glue these in. Ah! You know, I'm afraid to say anything about the Super Bowl. I was like, what everybody, oh, I was like, oh, the Super Bowl was on yesterday. I feel like I'm the only person that's like, I'm just here for the commercials. I'm just sitting here to be all judgy. Well, I was, that's the only reason I'm watching the Super I'm just here to be judgy. Am I the only person like that? I mean, at least I'm honest. 
I'm just here to be all judgy. Miss Judy. Yeah, where was, like, I'm with you, Veronica, where were the good commercials? Where were the good ones? I was commercial disappointed. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. Hey, Miss Dottie. Glad I wasn't the only one. A ghost or here. All right, let's throw down with some brighter greenery. My daughter back to school this morning and I had questions. She wasn't able to answer. So I was disappointed. I asked my daughter, I was like, I, I just don't get it. I don't know if it's my age or what, but I just don't understand the obsession with Taylor Swift. I ain't knocking the woman. I ain't bad-mouthing her. I just don't understand, my friends. There's part of me that thinks that if you're that obsessed with somebody, you really need to see a psychologist. Hate to say that, but it is what it is.
His mic, his microphone, Usher's microphone stopped working. I noticed that too. I was like, okay. By the way, me personally, I love that Usher came out on roller skates, but I'm a fan of roller skating, so that did my heart good. Tina. Shush, Tina. Tina, you didn't have to point out the obvious there, my friend. Supposed to be my friend. Let's be on my side, team. Saying. Saving me. Thank you for saving me, team. So I'm kind of using my greenery now, kind of make sure that I'm, my uh, hummingbird is popping out of my reef. See how it's really starting to stand out now?
And you know what? Since we got a lot of the ficus left. Use a little bit of that to put more color in before, before we add our flowers. And I still have ton of plenty of ficus left. Plenty. Plenty, my friends. Plenty. Get in there. So I've got pink over here, so I'm gonna alternate my colors. Kind of kind of thing. Oh, thank you, Miss Veronica. I appreciate that, y'all. Make me feel good. Although I'm kind of wondering where my little dog Buster's at. Normally. I'm at my work area behind me, and he's not. All right, let's put some florals in. So we're going to use a brighter pink and a lighter pink. The brighter pink to bring that pink out.
Now I want to be careful because I don't want to get my florals too close to the hummingbird. We don't want the hummingbird to disappear after we put all that effort into making sure that the hummingbird stood out, right? Congratulations, Tina. Huge congratulations. That is beyond awesome. My florals, my flowers here, they came from Walmart. I am very fortunate that I have a good selection of florals.
I'm sorry, y'all was reading Tina's story. I was kind of mesmerized by that. Oh, bad. Uh, I wanted to add some more of these smaller florals. I just really, I really love the way they just make it all pop and come together. Alrighty then. All right. So to upscale this, probably like I maybe put ten more dollars in the florals and greenery. Not really that much. All right, so let me show you the kit for... Now, don't forget, this kit will be released tomorrow. Tomorrow. At 1 p.m., Eastern time. Okay. So once again, tomorrow the kit will be released. Okay. But we will be making the kit Wednesday. Wednesday. So for those of you that haven't, because um, Lori's out of town, so she won't, she already released the kit and showed it on Sunday. But there are some people that didn't see it, so I'm going to show you the kit. But it won't be released and available for purchase until tomorrow, my friend. All right. Just one second. Let me get this stuff out of the way because I don't want to get the florals in the kit confused. Yeah. 
There's both wreaths side by side. Um. Well, Wednesday night, Sandra, is when I'm doing the tutorial on the kit. All right, so this was the basic one. And then this is your upgraded version. All right, so let me get the kit real quick. Like I said, Lori showed it Sunday, but a lot of people haven't seen it. It will not be available for purchase till tomorrow. There is a lot of goodies in the kit, y'all. A lot. All right, so in the kit. You will get This duck. Now, this duck is not sisal, y'all. It is fur. And it is really, really soft fur. Very soft fur. Look at that. Got a cute little bum. Got a cute little bum. Look at that. Okay. So that's the duck. That it's not sisal, it's fur. And then you will get two of these eucalyptus stems. These are super fun. Okay. You'll get two of those. And then we're gonna have some more greenery and clears. You get two of these stems. <laughs> Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Leave that duck's butt alone. No ice pick. Okay. And then look at these, y'all. You get two of these. We really wanted this kit to be so fun and cute okay for a reason okay and then you get some more of the fun real pretty mesh now this one's a little bit brighter than the one with the hummingbird kit and then of course pipe cleaners and then you're gonna get it like these are really pretty Easter colors and spring colors. So that's kind of what we were going for. We didn't want to put Easter eggs in it. We kind of wanted it to be a spring centerpiece, not just exclusive to Easter, but a really good, you know, centerpiece. And then, you're, of course, you'll get two rectangle boards. Now, my friends. And your tape measure QR code scan. Now, my friends. What do, this does not come with the kit. Now listen, this does not come with the kit, but I'm gonna tell y'all, this was like my idea for those that wanted to. Is little duckies. Hey, okay, these are sold separately. The ducks are sold separately. All right, but this was my idea is that the little duckies could represent children, grandchildren. In your centerpiece kind of thing so I've got four 
and two come in a two come in a set of the duckies. The ducks are sold separately, but they come in a in a set. You get one that's kind of sitting and one that's kind of standing. And these are fur also. They're not the sisal. If I can get the package open to show you. I mean, look, y'all. I don't know if you're anything like me, but the only way I'll ever have my ducks in a row is if I buy them and I put them that way. Anybody else like that? Uh-oh, my husband's home. All right, so this will be Wednesday night. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So cute. Like I said, the thought was, and it's a good gift, y'all. It's a good grandparent gift, you know. Some of y'all grandparents might have too many grandchildren to do that, but um, you know, look how cute that is, y'all. I don't. I don't. I do not have the bunny. All right. So don't forget, ducks. The little babies do not come in a kit. They are sold separately. Okay. They are not. These are not part of the kit. I want to be clear about that. I don't want anybody to be mad and say, "Where's my little duckies?" These are not part of the kit. Okay. All right, so that's the kit we're going to do Wednesday night. It will be available for purchase tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So get that in your cart, get your little duckies, and I will see y'all Wednesday. Y'all have a great, great, great evening. Bye, y'all.